Hey, Franklin, what's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Hey, look. You remember, I told you I know people. Feds who looked after me when I retired. You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit. Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy. Fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. The problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood in, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now, come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. Where's it say no tug jobs under the table? I'm getting sick of everything. 
Some of the best music being played on the West Coast is in CD clubs and galleries. Foul places that don't have tickets that are marked up 100% for processing fees. Holy shit, it's disgusting what the entertainment industry gets away with. And you fucking let them. Oh. Breaking news. Drug wars at the Alamo Sea continue. Still no breakthrough in the Leonora Johnson case. Amateur sleuths continue their search. A local policeman has turned artist, and some of his subjects are upset. A series of explosions destroy the truck. I just hope that Leaving broke your goddamn neck. The appears were part of a deliberate attack. Stab City, as the area was unfortunately called by locals, was a local biker gang hangout. Missing persons. Following the news that a confession letter was destroyed by a movie mogul David Richards, crime obsessives and amateur detectives are trying to discover who killed Leonora Johnson in a bloody and unsolved murder nearly 40 years ago. The starling was hacked to death in a murder many believe was covered up. Now the long cold case is getting warm again. Sergeant Tim Kenner takes his police work seriously, harassing minorities, shooting their dogs, and pulling over attractive women asking for dates. But his artwork is starting a controversy. He snaps camera phone pictures of suspects he has roughed up, and then paints them as large oil on canvas prints. The painting sold for a pretty penny among more affluent conservatives who like to surround themselves with images of people getting the business end of justice. News confirming your prejudices. This station is giant. Channel X. A veritable treasure trove. <laughs> Perfectly good sock. I think you mean zucchini, Mrs. Thornhill. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work. Oh, stunt double. Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap. Watch the birdie. Oh, pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yeah, yes, like you did on that on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this. Oh. Or like oh. that, huh? You like that? Oh, that's enough, huh? you. you like that? Oh. 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 oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Thank mm. you. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not. not I'm, uh, I'm not Jock. Uh, what's his name? Cranley, big star in the eighties. We well, love celebs. Well, That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and, and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. They're not like you or me. M Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products, things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins, it's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. Look, 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 look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them, and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs>
tools. Guys who don't need to hire a plumber or electrician. Guys who do it themselves. Tools. Blue collar guys aren't geniuses, and neither are you. Demonstrate this to your wife once and for all, and you too. Buy a circular saw. That was entirely your fault. For ninnies. Wire like the pros. And make your house the safe place you can be proud of. Show that wife who's boss. Trevor, Trevor is a... Trevor is a what? Trevor is a good guy. He cried family and got kid and he's rolling. That, 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 that's it, right, yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so... Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's gonna leave me. I mean, this is her place, and the fornicating? There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa. Whoa! Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, he died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Well, show me. Oh, no. Show me, no, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done. All right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? <laughs> 